My name is Krisha Desai. I'm from India and basically from Mumbai, that's a part of India. So I've been doing my master's here in medical genetics and genomics. This is my second master's. Uh, I have my first master's and my bachelor's degree in biotechnology. Okay, so my reason for choosing medical genetics was basically when I was back in India doing my master's, I did not have a practical opportunity to go forward with medical genetics. I had all theory based questions and I was very much fond of loving uh, medical genetics as a practical form. So then I wanted to work with patients, I wanted to work in hospital and I wanted the diagnostic parts mostly in my studies, but I couldn't find that in India. So then I applied for University of Glasgow. University of Glasgow was my first choice and I was I was very nervous that I wouldn't get it because giving the ambience and giving the ranking of University of Glasgow, but I was really glad that I got it in first round. Actually, when I was applying uh, in London as well, so the University of Glasgow rankings mattered a lot. People were literally telling me, if you get that university, you are lucky. So it's like more than London, you'll get to go in University of Glasgow. It was that kind of impression where everybody gave me. So I was really happy. My parents were very happy when we got the offer letter. We were like, yeah, you're going to Glasgow. And I I applied to lots of scholarships back in India, but then I secured the university scholarship, which I'm very thrilled of. So uh, it was not like I could apply directly. It was based on my resume and based on my experiences from where I got the scholarship. It was not like a practically application form which you filled it in University of Glasgow. So they, the application form which you filled for your entry in University of Glasgow, that was it uh, for the scholarship as well. So by that, I'm assuming that I was very good at maybe and I beat the odds and that is why I got a scholarship so I was very happy. I would uh, recommend to every student who are pursuing their masters or who are already here or who are coming to Glasgow for further studies I would just recommend that don't give up it's pretty hard being an international student to cope up with the study schedules to even cope up with uh, the language here but I would say just don't give up it's like one at a time and you will get to it it was very difficult for me as well I'm still learning in that process but I'm not ready to give up I'm like I'll fight for this this was my dream <laughs> My program are very brilliant, very, very brilliant. So I am like more of taking advice from them that how should I cope up with, because I have 3.2 years of gap uh, being a student. I was back student in 2019 and now in 2022 I'm a student. So they are very helpful. I'm very grateful for them. But uh, one advice I would like to give to them as well is that, you know, just be open about your struggles. That is what we are here for. We found a family here in friends and teachers. So just be open. If you are struggling with something, just be open. That's fine. This was my first experience. Even for me and even for my parents, it was very emotional that I was going somewhere because all my studies, everything I've done back in India, I was right next to my college, right my, next to my university for masters. So I've never been away from my family. So like I have 30 calls in a day of my parents. And even if I don't pick up, they'll start calling my other friends. The way she, she's not answering calls. So it is that kind of situation. I really like studying, like back in college, I was really a nut. I used to spend more time studying, studying, studying. I was that passionate. And then when I started working, I thought I'll enjoy that phase. You get to earn, you get cash in your hand. But uh, then being a student is like a freedom. You explore places, you go out with friends, there is no restriction and it's just wonderful. <music> The 
my main goal is to get into NHS. I really want to work there. Uh, it's been my dream where I like to work with patients. I would like to work with experienced doctors, researchers and take this field ahead as a skilled uh, genetics researcher. So let's see, I'm just around the corner understanding everything how I have to proceed. I'm not there yet. I'm not even sure if my this goal will change to something else after I complete my dissertation. But yeah, right now it's this what I'm looking forward to. <laughs>